guys have had, how's it going? We're at the post office now. We're doing a little bit of running around today. Travis has two troops that are coming in. He's sponsoring people. I've talked about this before. When you go to a new base, you have a sponsor and they help you get your PO box set up. They help you get a hotel and they help you navigate your way around. I have to go across. So Travis just printed off their orders and is um, getting them a post office box and then we're gonna go to Vogelway and get them a hotel because he's being a good sponsor. That's why. That's what you're supposed to do. Yes, I need to see if I'm getting a couple post office boxes for guys that come in. This person here just spit in the car. So he's in trouble. That's done. No more spitting in the car. Yes, ma'am. All right, now let's go have Volgoy tell us they have no availability for hotels. Probably will. Actually, I think I need to go into an accompanied housing office or the dorm office mm -hmm. to get a paper saying that Taylor, since he's single and senior airman, that mm -hmm. he won't be living in the dorms. So I need to go back That he won't first. be living in the dorms? Yeah, because since he's senior airman and single, pretty much you're going to live in the dorms. But since he's putting on staff, mm. you just live off base. Mm. You don't get an option. You don't like. They're not As gonna... staff, you can't live in the dorm. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I would like to do the same thing Hagrid's did for us. Find out like, do you know how old Bird's son is? I think son it's is? less than a year. Okay. Find out like what stuff they'll need. Yeah. For the first day and put stuff in their hotel. Next step: lodging. Yeah, Hello. Hi. Hello. One will be here the 18th of this month, and the other will be here the 1st of March. Holy wind. We drove all the way down to Volvoway to see if there was any available rooms without realizing that we could have just come to the one here. We didn't know who was able to stay at the hotel here that's like attached to the BX. And he's like, oh, you can call him. Travis waited on hold for like 20 minutes before we just drove back up here. One of the guys he has coming in um, is married with a kid and we got a room for him, but the single guy, we're gonna get a room for him off base. But the other day, yesterday, I had stopped and got him. They have passion tea here. I love passion tea. And Travis wants a monster. Unfortunately, there was no rooms available for one guy. We're now off base. We just stopped at Hotel Merker right here near Launch Stool to get this guy a room because he arrives this month and he needs a room. We were hoping to get him to stay on base, but if he had to stay off base, we were hoping to get it in a place that was on Travis's way to work because he doesn't wanna to have to go like completely way out of his way or way past work and then all the way back. And like, he didn't wanna to have to do that. So we were trying to find a place that was between our house and his work. So Travis just went in to see if they have any availability for later this month when this guy gets here. And uh, we're just kind of sitting hanging out. I had to get another Tivana tea. I don't know what it is about passion tea, but I love it. If you've never had passion tea, it's just hibiscus tea and it has like cinnamon and other things in it. And it is so stinking good. It says hibiscus flowers, cinnamon, apple, licorice root, lemongrass, fruit juice extract. But it is so good. I used to get these at Starbucks. They actually sell um, passion tea at Starbucks. And I would just get a Trenta, which is bigger than a Venti. And I would get it no ice. So it was just this massive cup of tea. And it was so good. I would drink it throughout the day. It's my favorite. Can I have a drink? Sure. I'm so glad I spotted it at the shopette because I love it. And I think it's like $2.39 for that, which is kind of spendy. I wouldn't get one like every day, obviously, but it's a lot cheaper than like the $5 it would cost for an iced passion tea at Starbucks. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. You love passion tea. Me too. You too. I'm thinking by the fact that it's taking a little bit that there's a room. I think mom tried to trick me. I didn't have, she didn't give me anything and she did. <laughs> He asked when I had went into the shop at for me to get him something to eat because he was hungry, but to surprise him. So when I came back out, he's like, what did you get me? I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. He's like, mom. I was like, are you going to starve? Are you that hungry? He's like, yes. I was like, good thing I got you some Cheez-Its. And I held them up and he's like, oh. I tricked you, huh? I got you good. 
<laughs> I just need his uh GGC number? Yeah. To reserve it. Travis said they have spots. Yep. Nice. And it's really nice that he gets a one bedroom apartment. Travis remembered that we needed a new bulb for above the stove, as well as we got some project paint. Always come here and buy stuff we don't need. With glitter. <laughs> we always end up with things we don't need. Guys, that's the small kind. I'm so excited. It's gonna look so pretty. Comment below if you can guess what we're painting. Teal, something small. Cause that's what it's gonna look like. Sparkly. Probably more teal. sparkly. With yeah. The Oh, this is gold glitter. This is silver glitter. I like the gold. It pops out more. You should get the big kind. No, we don't need that much. Oh, dang, dude. We're only painting one thing. Oh, man, guys, there's glitter on the table already. We must be starting a project. I'm thawing out some bacon real quick, like, because I'm going to make some more jalapeno poppers. I have made them so many times since we got here, but they're really super easy. Yes. I know, they're really easy. And I had this bag of jalapenos in the fridge for like two weeks now and I don't want them to go bad. They are a lot cheaper here than they were in Okinawa, but I still don't want to waste them. So I picked up some cream cheese and some bacon yesterday and I'm gonna make some because I don't know what I really want for dinner, but I know I want some food and these are really good and they're really super simple. All you need is jalapenos, bacon, and cream cheese. You can rip your own toilet paper. No. Yeah. Okay. And you're probably gonna want some parchment paper because you're gonna put them in the oven and they're gonna spew a lot of grease and get really sticky. So you probably don't wanna put it straight on your pan. At least I don't. I always put it on parchment paper, but that's just me. Oh, there's so many left. But we're about to head to bed. I just put Ziki Bear outside. So hopefully I can put him on Calvin's bed and he won't try to escape again. Hopefully I don't forget he's outside. <laughs> but Travis said that a truck just drove by and salted the road and it says that it's um, supposed to snow. Yay! The only bad thing is that I have a party on Spangdalem on Saturday and I don't really want it to snow that day because I don't want to have to drive all the way up there in the snow. It can snow before as long as it's gone when I have to drive, and then it can snow again after. I might have to drive my car. I uh, might have to. But we're about to head to bed. It's not even 9.30 yet, and we're headed to bed because Travis is laying on the couch looking like he was about to fall asleep. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but for now, that is that, and we will see you when we see you. Are you standing back here eating?